Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hasham Ali Khan. Now I am going to start the problems on cash flow statement. Previous three videos I have completely explained the theory regarding cash flow statement. Last video I have explained the format. So according to the format, all the cash flows will be divided into three categories. Operating activity, investing activity and financing activity. And what are the items to be taken under each activity already I have explained. Now the problems are based completely on that theory. So if you have not watched those theory, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject accounting for management. Select the videos cash flow statement. Watch the first three videos. Be aware, be clear about the concept how to make the cash flow statement. Now, in this video, two problems I am going to explain to you. So, before explaining, I expect my viewers to have a printout. Take the printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So, always keep ready the problem. Without problem, you cannot understand any solution. So, take the screenshot of all the points which I have written on the board, then I will explain all the points in detail. See the first problem. From the following details, prepare a cash flow statement. So here, two balance sheets are given 2017 and 2018. No adjustments are given, only balance sheet of two years are given. Now we have to make the balance sheet of the current year 2018. The last year is 2017. So two balance sheets side by side, liabilities, assets are given. Now see here, share capital last year 50, current year 50, no change. Then profit and loss account last year 80, current year 1 lakh 10,000 increase. Then debentures last year it was not there, but current year 30,000 debentures. Credit arms, bills payable, other current liabilities. Asset side gross block. This gross block is nothing but the fixed assets. Then less depreciation. Last year accumulated depreciation 40,000, current year 55,000. Then stock, debtors, bills receivable, cash. That's all. This is the complete balance sheet given. Now how to proceed in making the cash flow statement? See carefully. Cash flow statement for the year ended 2018. Now particulars, amount, amount. Two columns at the extreme right hand side inner column to make the calculations and outer column. Now cash flow from operating activities. First activity, operating activity. Increase in profit and loss account. The last year profit and loss account was 80,000, current year 1,10,000. So there is increase in the profit and loss account by 30,000. So here, increase in profit and loss account 30,000 first call. 1,10,000 minus 80,000. To this, we have to adjust non-cash, non-operating items. In the first problem, we are not given any adjustments and only depreciation is a non-cash expense. Last year it was 40,000, current year 55,000. So how much is the increase in accumulated depreciation? 15,000, 55,000 minus 40,000. So 15,000 is the increase in depreciation or depreciation provided during 2018. So this depreciation, 55 minus 40, 15,000. Only one item we have in non-cash. Now you add up. 30 plus 15, 45,000. This is the operating profit before working capital changes. Now we have to adjust for working capital changes. Working capital changes means current assets and current liability. The changes in current asset and current liability. So already in the previous video, I've explained you the rule. Increase in current liability and decrease in current asset should be added. The opposite should be deducted. That rule you have to remember. Increase in current liability and decrease in current asset should be added. Always while watching this video, keep a notebook beside you, a calculator, pen. So whenever I say something, immediately you note it down. Then only you can be able to remember till examination. So here, creditors. <clears throat> the first current liability is creditor. Last year 20,000, current year 25,000. <clears throat> increase in creditor increase in current liability added so here 
increase in creditors add so how much is the increase 25 minus 20 5000 5000 we have to add similarly bills payable another current liability last year 20000 current year 5000 decrease in current liability should be deducted decrease in current liability should be deducted so decrease in bills payable minus decrease in bills payable minus how much is decreased 20000 minus 5000 15000 decreased so 15000 in bracket bracket denotes minus subtraction and then other current liability last year it is 10000 current year 15000 increase in other current liability so increase in current liability will be added so increase in other current liability added how much is the difference 5000 5000 added so three current liabilities we have checked now come to current assets stock last year 60000 current year 1 lakh increase in stock or increase in current asset should be deducted increase in current asset should be deducted so increase in stock minus the difference is 40000 1 lakh minus uh, 140 minus uh, sorry uh, stock 1 lakh minus 60000 is 40000 so 40000 subtract subtraction means minor bracket in bracket means we have to subtract now increase in debtors the next current asset is debtor last year 30 current year 40 so increase in debtors so increase in current asset should be deducted so increase in debtors minus 10000 last one bills receivable last year bills receivable 10000 current year nil that means there is decrease in current asset the so decrease in current asset should be added the so decrease in bills receivable should be added that's all. so don't commit any mistake while which item to be added which item to be clear not deducted be clear increase in current liability decrease in current asset should be added that point you have to remember the opposite should be deducted now 45,000 plus 5,000 minus 15,000 plus 5,000 minus 40,000 minus 10,000 plus 10,000 nil that means there is neither cash generated nor used no profit no loss all cash inflows and cash outflows both are same so no cash generated in operating activity no cash generated in operating activity nil now we'll come to the cash flow from investing activity investment we should take fixed assets so last year gross block 1 lakh current year 1 lakh 40000 the so 40000 rupees fixed asset increased the so purchase when fixed asset increases it will increase due to purchase the so purchase of fixed asset when there is a purchase of fixed asset there is cash outflow remember whenever we purchase something the cash will go out so purchase of fixed asset there is a cash outflow that's why I'm writing in bracket bracket denotes cash outflow so take this 40,000 in the outer column this is in bracket so you should write on cash used if it is positive cash generated if it is negative cash used in investing activity last one is cash flow from financing activity in financing activity compare the share capital debentures etc in our problem share capital last year 50 current year 50 no change ignore next one is debentures debentures last year nil current year 30,000 that means during the current year debentures are issued for 30,000 when debentures are issued there is cash inflow to so issue of debentures 30,000 without bracket bracket means outflow but when the debentures are issued the money is coming into the company so there is cash inflow 30,000 take this 30,000 order column no other financing activity is there only one so this cash generated from financing activity because this is positive here negative so cash used in investing activity that's all now you take the total in the second column second column 0 minus 40,000 plus 30,000 so minus 40,000 plus 30,000 you will get minus 10,000 
this is the net decrease in cash and cash equivalent minus that's why i'm writing decrease so decrease in cash and cash equivalent now last year cash balance last year cash balance is given in the problem 20000 last year balance sheet asset side cash 20000 so this 20000 i have taken now 20000 minus 10000 you will get 10000 and this is the cash and cash equivalent at the end of the year now you compare it in the problem cash of current year is 10000 and we also got cash at the end of the year 10000 that means we have correctly prepared the cash flow statement whatever you get the answer here the same cash balance should be there, there during the current year so 10000 is, is given in the balance sheet and we also got 10000 that means our cash flow statement is correct so this is the first problem on how to make the cash flow statement now second problem the summarized balance sheet of kunal limited as at 31st december 2015 and 31st december 2016 are as follows the so current year is 2016 last year is 2015 the so two balance sheets are given share capital 450 450 no change general reserve last year it was 3 lakh current year it is 3 lakh 10000 that means during the current year 10000 rupees transferred to general reserve this is a non cash non operating item then pnl account is given last year 56 current year 68 so this PL account balance will take as a starting point in cash flow from operating activity. Then creditor is a current liability. Tax provision, mortgage loan. Mortgage loan is a long term loan. It will be taken under financing activity. Now fixed asset, investment, stock, debtors, bank. Some additional details are given. Investment costing 8000 was sold for 8500. When information is given regarding investment in additional information, prepare better you make an account, investment account. So we make an investment account in the working note and tax provision made during the year 9000. So again, we'll make one account, the provision for taxation account. And during the year, part of the fixed asset costing 10,000 was sold for 12,000. So we make one more account, fixed asset account. Then... Uh, and the profit was included in profit and loss account you are required to prepare a cash flow statement now here this problem is a little bit complicated compared to the previous problem because some adjustments are given so first of all you make the format of this cash flow statement format of this cash flow statement in working note we will make the accounts three accounts investment account provision for taxation account and fixed asset account see carefully First of all, investment. Investment is an asset. An asset will show debit balance. All assets will show debit balance. So first of all, you take opening and closing balance of investment. So here investments are given opening balance 50,000, closing balance 60,000. So to balance brought down, here I have taken 50,000. Debit side, opening balance. And opposite side, credit side, closing balance, by balance carried down 60,000. Always. You have to do like this only. So opening balance, debit side, closing balance, credit side. Now investment costing 8,000 was sold for 8,500. So 500 rupees profit. So when we sell the investment, entry will be bank account, debit, investment account, credit. When we are selling the investment, bank debited investment created the investment account created by bank sale 8500 8500 investments are sold but in that 8500 500 is the profit because cost of investment 8000 sold for 8500 so 500 rupees profit the profit should be taken on debit side the entry will be investment account debit profit and loss account credit investment debited profit and loss account created for profit so debit side you take profit and loss account profit 500 that's all you have taken all the items now see uh, is it tallying or any balance is there there is some balance credit side 60 plus 8500 68500 credit side total 68500 debit side 68500 minus 50000 minus 500 the balancing figure is 18,000. This 18,000 is the investment purchased during the year. 
If debit side is less, it denotes that during the year some more investments are purchased. Entry will be investment account debit, bank account credit. So investment account debit side bank purchase 18,000. Now how you have to deal with this one? In the problem, purchase of investment and sale of investment both should be taken under investing activity. So here you can see investing activity. Investing activity, purchase of investment 18,000, sale of investment 8,500. So both purchase and sale should be taken under investment activity. Purchase is cash outflow. So this 18,000 should be taken in bracket. And 8,500 is the money received on sale of investment. That is inflow. So 8,500 without bracket. That's one account I have explained you investment. The second account is provision for taxation. The so provision for taxation last year 75,000, current year 10,000. Remember, provision for taxation is a liability and all liability will show credit balance. Assets will show debit balance, liability will show credit balance. So provision for taxation, credit side, last year balance 75,000 and current year balance 10,000 to balance carried down 10,000. So opening balance, credit side, closing balance, debit side now in the adjustment it is given provision tax provision made during the year 9000 <coughs> income tax provision made during the year is uh, how much 9000 so entry will be profit and loss account debit provision for taxation credit always write it down when you listen this lecture when you watch this lecture whatever points i am uh, uh, telling you immediately you should write it down otherwise you'll forget it so what is the entry for provision made during the year? Profit and loss account debit, provision for taxation credit. So credit side by PLL account provision made 9,000. That's all. 9,000. Now take the total on the credit side. 75 plus 9 is 84,000. From 84,000 direct 74,000. Oh sorry, direct 10,000. 84 minus 10, 74,000 is the tax paid during the year. That is not given in the problem. By making this account, we come to know there is a payment of tax of 74,000. Entry will be provision for taxation account data, bank account credit. Provision for taxation debit, bank account credit. The provision for taxation debit side to bank, tax paid 74,000. Now how you have to deal with this in cash flow statement? The tax paid will be deducted in operating income from operating activities. Here tax paid 74,000. When we pay the tax, cash outflow, so bracket, right? Similarly, provision made during the year. Provision for taxation made during the year 9,000. This will be taken under non-cash item. Provision for taxation made during the year 9,000 should be taken under non-cash. That point you will remember. Last one, fixed asset. The fixed asset, we have opened the account because adjustment is given. During the year, a part of the fixed asset costing 10,000 was sold for 12,000. Now, first of all, we have prepared the fixed asset account. It is an asset. So it will show debit balance. Opening balance debit side, closing balance credit side. So opening balance 4 lakh, closing balance 3 lakh 20,000. So debit side to balance brought down 4 lakh and credit side by balance carried down 3 lakh 20,000. Right? Now, during the year, a part of the fixed, uh, fixed asset costing 10,000 was sold for 12,000. When we sell the fixed asset, money will come. So bank account debit, fixed asset account credit. So fixed asset account credit side by bank, sale 12,000. 12,000 rupees we have taken on the credit side. In that 12,000, 2,000 rupees are the profit because 10,000 worth of fixed asset was sold for 12,000. That profit should be taken on the debit side. Entry will be fixed asset account debit, profit and loss account credit. So here debit side to PNL account profit 2000. That's all. Now you find out the balance 4 lakh plus 2000. 4 lakh 2000 is the total on the debit side. From 4 lakh 2000 deduct 3 lakh 20,000 and deduct 12,000. The balancing figure is 70,000. So credit side is less. The reason is depreciation. 
depreciation so balancing figure depreciation 70,000 now how you take this one the depreciation is a non-cash item so it should be taken in non-operating non-cash non-operating item 70,000 now during the year there is sale of fixed asset there is no purchase there is no purchase but there is sale so sale of fixed asset should be taken under investing activity so here investing activity is the sale of fixed asset 12,000 this 12,000 we have taken under fixed assets that's all these three accounts I have explained in detail regarding investment provision for taxation and fixed asset now formally we will start our cash flow statement now here uh, Kunal limited cash flow statement for the year ended 31st December 2016 cash flow from operating activities first increase in profit and loss account the liability side it is given profit and loss account last year 56 current year 68 so 68,000 minus 56,000 12,000 that is the increase in PL account to this we have to add or less adjustment for non-cash non-operating item the first item is depreciation here depreciation we got 70,000 I have taken 70,000 right now transfer to general reserve transfer last year general reserve 3 lakh current year 3 lakh 10,000 so 10,000 rupees transfer to general reserve this 10,000 I have taken next is provision for taxation made during the year how much is the provision for taxation made during the year 9,000 here you can see that 9,000 provision for taxation that's a non-cash item so this 9,000 I have taken now there's a profit on sale of investment and profit on sale of fixed asset those profits should be deducted because it is a non-cash profit that profit is included in the cash inflow when we sell the fixed asset the profit is included in the amount received when we sell the investment profit is included in the sale proceed so that profit we should deduct how much is the profit on sale of investment here 500 how much is the profit on sale of fixed asset 2000 so this 500 and 2000 should be deducted profit on sale of investment 500 and profit on sale of fixed asset 2000 both are deducted so bracket now you have to find out the total 12,000 plus 70,000 plus 10,000 plus 9,000 minus 500 minus 2000 you will get 98,500 this 98,500 is the operating profit before working capital changes so now adjustment for working capital changes as usual increase in current liability decrease in current asset should be added that one rule you remember automatically second rule you can easily remember the first one come to liability side creditor creditor last year 168 current year 134 decrease in creditor decrease in current liability should be deducted increase in current liability should be added decrease in current liability should be deducted the so decrease in creditors minus decrease in creditor minus 34,000 it is minus that's why I'm writing in bracket secondly uh, tax provision already we have taken mortgage loan uh, we will take it in uh, financing activity so only one current liability creditor now asset side stock last year 210 current uh, last year 240 current year 210 there is decrease in stock decrease in current asset should be added the so decrease in stock should be added 30,000 the difference is 30,000 add 30,000 now after stock debtors increase in debtors increase in current asset should be subtracted minus so the increase in debtors minus the difference 4 lakh 55,000 minus 2 lakh 10,000 2 lakh 45,000 minus that's all now you find out the total 98,500 minus 34,000 plus 30,000 minus 2 lakh 45,000 so you will get operating loss before tax 1 lakh 50,500 this is the operating loss because in bracket negative I'm getting negative income is loss minus tax paid how much is the income tax paid already we have calculated here 74,000 is the tax paid 74,000 tax paid deduct 
cash used. 224,500 cash used in operating activity. Negative. Now cash flow from investing activity. Investing activity we consider only investment and fixed asset. There is sale of investment 8,500. Sale, uh, sale of investment 8,500. Positive. Purchase of investment 18,000. So there is cash outflow on purchase of investment 18,000. Bracket. Sale of investment, sale of fixed asset. Sale of fixed asset 12,000. So 12,000 sale of fixed asset. Positive. So 12,000 minus 18,000 plus 8,500. 2,500 is uh, cash generated from investing activity. Now lastly, cash flow from financing activity. Only one item is there, mortgage loan. Share capital, no change at all. No increase, no decrease. Only mortgage loan. Last year nil, current year 2,70,000. So during the year, the company has taken a mortgage loan. So in financing activity, mortgage loan taken 2,70,000. There is cash inflow. When loan is taken, cash inflow. So 2,70,000. This is the cash generated in financing activity. All the three activities we have completed. Now find the total. Minus 2,24,500 plus 2,500 plus 2,70,000. You will get 48,000. Positive. Net increase in cash and cash equivalent 48,000. Increase. Positive. To this you add cash and cash equivalent at the beginning of the year. In the problem you see last year's column. Last year's column, bank column 1,49,000. The beginning of the year cash and cash equivalent 1,49,000. You add up 48,000 plus 1,49,000. The total is 1,97,000. We got 1,97,000 cash and cash equivalent at the end of the year. Now compare it in the problem. If it is same, our answer is absolutely right. See here. In the balance sheet, the current year bank balance 1,97,000. So in the problem also 1,97,000, we also got 1,97,000. That means our calculations are absolutely right. Ha! Ah, so in this video, two problems I have explained in detail. See here, first time itself, you may not be able to understand properly. So my suggestion to you, watch the video twice, thrice. When you watch second time, third time, definitely you will get the command. And if you understand the first two, two three problems, remaining problems will become very very easier for you so inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video